we? I don't know. <laughs> breaking the mold. It totally works. <laughs> For actors, there's some sort of weird pressure. Like, I have to yeah, be funny. I have to be. That's what it is. Like, I have to feel like I have to do something. Yeah. You know. Does that affect your tweeting at for all? For sure or? it does. Yeah. For sure it does. Like, th there's been times where I've been like, oh, I don't want to put this in this, you know. Yeah. And so I end up saying thanks a lot for just saying, like, <laughs> back at you. <ya." laughs> or whatever. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> You've noticed. <laughs> Yeah, I love tweets. doing it. Oh my god, it's my mm -hmm. favorite thing to do. It's really cool. Yeah, it's yeah. really really cool. It's nice to have people like interacting on uh, on uh, it's, or on Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that. So. There are some there are some good fans. It's yeah, I've, I've, I've got I've got to know a couple of them. They're pretty rad dudes. So like, do you have any you crazy? Are... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 nothing nothing too crazy. Um, not that I can think of. There was there was there there has been like the occasional like uh, like. Kind of forward girl, but you know, that does nothing too right. crazy yet. You know, like nothing, <laughs> nothing that's been you know over the top. <laughs> that was me. That's all. That was me. Yeah, it was you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Instagram is still my favorite. Instagram is your favorite because you like the pictures. when it's done right, like when it's really done right, because there's there's rules to it. I think that I don't think anybody, I don't think everybody knows the rules, but I think there should be sort of a. Here's how you use this. <laughs> I break the rules sometimes whenever I take pictures of myself. I get that that's not necessarily the coolest thing, but I also kind of like to do it. No, um, you but should. For yeah. me though, like I think Instagram is rad because you can tell a story without without trying to express anything from a, from the words. It's just about like this is what my day is like. This is what I'm. This isn't something clever that I thought up. Like this is just what I'm doing at the moment. Mm -hmm, and sure. so like just because you can look, you could show hey everybody who's interested check this out. This yeah. is what I'm seeing. I think that's awesome. I think that's such a cool way of, of communicating online. I was living so much in the mindset of trying to chase, trying to chase, trying to chase, and then when I got to Montreal, I was like, I, I don't have any friends here. I don't know anybody here. Just what happens? And I, I, I had the best time of my life doing that. Like, I found myself at one point, <laughs> I found myself in a community pool. <laughs> This park in, in a place called Verdun, which is like, I don't, it's like a sketchier area of Montreal, but it's, but for me, it was like my favorite place to hang out, <laughs> just because I didn't know any better. And so like one day I was like, come meet me over here. I was like telling Megan, and she was like, I got, I got, so I got Megan on a bus and like had her come to this place in Verdun, this community pool. And she was like, I can't believe we're in Verdun. Like, what are, what are we doing here? And she had the best time. Like she had a blast by the end of it. Like we had such a fun time. So much about here is like, it's about exclusivity and getting behind the velvet robe and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing back there, you know, just another room. You right. know, it's just a smaller room to hang out in. And <laughs> so much of my mind had been, you know, like, I get behind the phone. What's going on behind there? And then I had this sort of realization when I'm sitting in this community pool, like, surrounded by, like, families and, you know, kids that having, like, jumping off the, the water slides and stuff. I was like, this is much more interesting. <laughs> One of the things that I've been doing is watching these cosmology videos. So just like learning about the scale of the universe and like unit learning about like stars and how far away things are and you know like getting into like really really interesting uh, general relativity kind of stuff. And so that's sort of it sort of kicked me off onto this like real um, learning about physics, which is kind of bizarre for me because I just like barely went to school. <laughs> you decided to go to physics. physics. Yeah, yeah I, I bullshitted through school. And I, like, I understand probably way too much about astrophysics. And, <laughs> and I find that it's, I find that it's uh, interfered quite a bit with my social interactions, though. Because there'll be times where I'm like, it, it started making my mind go really analytical on things. And so, like, whenever just the bebopping around, you know, goofing off stuff, that does, that's just not there anymore. And so I'll be in, like, social settings, and I'll be like, I got no interest in this thing. <laughs> I don't care what kind of coffee you have. <laughs> okay. Michelangelo. <laughs> 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 He's my favorite turtle too. Leonardo. Very cool turtle. Yeah. Don't tell us about it. Getting out there. <laughs> oh man. I wasn't allowed to watch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. Why? I know. I was what? so bummed. I was so ripped off. Why? Uh, my dad wouldn't. You know, we had certain things we weren't allowed to watch. We were, we were and that's one of them. Sheltered in that way. Yeah, so. Sheltered? Yeah. Was that, was that on purpose? <laughs> yes, it okay. was on purpose. Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. yeah. Do you like Star Trek? I, I mean, I do, but but Star Wars is, I, I have much more of a, I don't know, I think it's just the Jedi. Well, I want to be a Jedi. Yeah. 
I want to go to Jedi school. I kind of feel like I am in Jedi school. Like I feel like I'm, you know, like daily working towards picking something up with my mind. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works out. I was gonna say, you need to give us the updates I'll send you on this. Video of my yes. skills. <laughs> he did it! <laughs> <laughs> so I know what my lightsaber would be. And it would be? It would be a yellow lightsaber. Okay, and why? Okay, so here's the reason why. I'm gonna get super nerdy. I love it. <laughs> so the visible light spectrum, okay, you have, um, it goes red to, in, in violet, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's red would be the slowest uh, frequency that a wave can run. So like colors work off of a frequency. And so like this is giving off a frequency, like this is giving off frequency. And my eye is picking it up. Uh, essentially it's like, a, I look at it like a battery. And this is giving off something that my eye is interpreting as being red. And so red has the slower frequency and violet has the faster frequency. So the higher the, the frequency, that's closer to infinity. The lower the frequency, that's closer to, to vanilla, that's closer to earth anyway, uh, in that way. And so green and yellow, would, they're right underneath each other. Green's a little bit faster, so like that's the one that's a little bit more on the good side of things. Okay. And the yellow one's a little bit slower, so that's a little bit on the, on the, on the dark side of things. So my reasoning why I would want to have a yellow one is because I like to flirt with the dark side. Really. <laughs> I like to get just close enough to it. Where it doesn't get crazy, where I'm not like, you know, I'm not, I don't have a red one, so I'm not Vader. Right. But, uh, you know, I feel like if I was Jake and Solo, I would want to have a yellow lightsaber. Match the Sith eyes, too. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But you would have Sith eyes. I would hope not. Oh, okay, maybe you would. Okay. Uh...